You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> One, two, three. Ginkgo, ginkgo, ginkgo. gathered here among the glorious redwoods of California for you, Jude, and you, Lindsay, to join one another in love and union. Jude and Lindsay, on this day, more than 60 years ago, both sets of your grandparents were married. Today, you follow one another in their footsteps and make the same promises they did to love and value one another, to respect and commit to one another, this love is alive, it is active, dynamic, and powerful. Cling to it during good times and bad. Together you will fight demons, defeat enemies, build a life, and forge a bond that is greater than the sum of its parts. Lindsay, with an open heart, would you like to share your vows with June? My forever jam. <laughs> I may not know what I want for dinner when you ask, but one thing I have always known for sure is that I'd get to call you my husband one day. As cliche as it is true, we found each other when we least expected it. Before I met you, I went through life living for the opinion of everyone around me, but you have taught me that I am allowed to choose and love myself shamelessly. Because of that, I am able to show up every day and embrace the love you've shown me. I vow to make you feel that same unconditional love every day. I will work consciously to balance our needs together and individually. Early in our journey together, you told me that you wanted to marry your best friend. I promise that I'll be your best friend, your cheerleader, your dance partner, your shoulder to cry on, your long hug after a hard day, a listening ear when you speak, your voice when you can't find the words, and your laughter like you have been for me many times before. I even promise to always make you banana puddings. Mm. I've always been a see the forest kind of girl, but with you, I slow down and see the trees. That is a part of me now forever and a gift I could never repay you for. I vow to take more intentional moments to stop and watch the trees with you. I wholeheartedly know our souls were meant to spend this life with each other. When I think of how much you enrich my being, I feel it in my bones. You make me feel safe, secure, wild, and free. The card that I drew before coming on our trip was so fitting. I read it this morning. It was the tower, the mushroom. The first thing the card says, let tragedy nourish the soul of rebirth. 
love is going to provide many moments for us. I vow to use those challenging moments to nourish my soul in our marriage. When the waters get muggy, I'll meet you back here. No matter the years, my heart is yours. Through the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, my heart is yours. I'll always love you, Anthony Jude. For years I've played out this fantasy about how my life would change if I won the lottery. What would Anthony Jude Fatal do with this crispy new million dollars? Maybe I quit my job, pick up a new expensive hobby. Maybe I'd follow a gentle cool breeze across the globe. Or even move my family and friends to a place called paradise. The night I met you sitting outside of a drab Irish pub in downtown Alexandria. <laughs> that night was just like every other night in a one horse small town. <clears throat> Until your raspy southern drawl tickled the drum of my left ear. Yeah. Oh yeah. I knew you were special even after a few exchanges of small talk about Nashville and our travels. And I'll tell you, after five vibrant years of getting to know you, myself, and us, I now know what I would do with my life if I won the lottery. I'd share it with the world, the whole entire world around me, because I want everyone to know that I'm the richest man alive having you in my life. I'm here today because I'm elated to profess to everyone that I want you and only you to be my wife. You, Lindsay Michelle Blakely, are a treasure. I'm completely enamored by the person that you are to me, my best friend. I'm confident in our future together as a husband and wife. I know that we have already begun to draw our map to navigate this life as a couple. So when we can't decide on what to eat, we use the process of elimination by saying what we don't want to eat. When our emotions are getting too high in an argument, our safe word is one, two, three, ginkgo, ginkgo, ginkgo. It's the little things. It's the little things that I catch that constantly assure my faith in our future. I'm so grateful for your hard work to keep us growing together. Here now and forevermore, I promise to always stand for what is just and pure in our relationship, whether you're near or far. I will always come to your defense, even in the moments I know you're wrong, because nobody puts baby in a corner. I will strive every day to be the best possible me that I can imagine. I will always provide for you, as funny as it is, because we both know you don't need no man. And when we're old and in the way, I promise to still cut the onions for you, even if you have to puree my food, <clears throat> because I don't have any teeth left to chew it anymore. I am forever yours. And I love you. Jude. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And cherish you always. And cherish you always. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. Wow. Cool. Now it's time to put the ring on your finger and do the repeat after me. Lindsay. Lindsay. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And cherish you always. And cherish you always. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. With these public promises of vows and the symbolic exchange of wedding bands, I now pronounce you, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, to be husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs>
I am filled with joy in announcing to the world, Mr. and Mrs. Fatal. Lindsay and Jude, you may kiss your spouse.